You know, we have known for years that we've had a shortage of doctors, especially primary care doctors. We've had a shortage of nurses. And this bill is going to help that. You know, when we talk about, and I hear so many of the uh, charges coming from the other side, I'm sitting, where have I been all these uh, months when I've sit through the committees and heard what we were doing? I want to say that uh, with uh, the Education and Labor Committee, the Nurse Training and Retention Act and the Student to School Nurse Ratio Improvement Act is in this bill, H.R. 3962. The Nurse Training and Retention Act will provide grants so we can have more new nurses. But to have more new nurses, we have to have those that are educated to teach those nurses. We're going to have that in this bill, too. I also want to say that for years, I have been fighting with the insurance companies to make sure that children that are born with disfigurements on their face could have corrections so long term they won't have those scars physically and mentally and to help those families adjust to the child. In this bill, we are going to be able to say the, uh, the plastic surgeons are going to be able to work on these children. Think about a child that is born without an ear. The insurance companies say that's cosmetic. That's not cosmetic. The ear is actually part of the body so we can actually hear better. But the scars, emotional scars that happen to the children that are born with these deformities, that is wrong. If we can't take care of our children in this country, if we can't take sure and make sure our seniors on Medicare get the kind of care that they need, I will tell you, I just went through surgery. And you know, I went to get my prescriptions filled. And my uh, pharmacist said to me, how lucky you don't have to pay any more for your prescriptions now until January 1st. Why? Because I have catastrophe covered because I have the health care from the federal the government. Time is we expired. can do better and we should. General